Stay tuned to learn how to make these spiral wire earrings. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos. So you're gonna need a group of pliers. You're gonna need a ball peen hammer. You're gonna need an anvil. You're gonna need some 12 gauge wire, aluminum wire, 16 gauge aluminum wire. So keep your hammer and your anvil ready. So grab your round nose pliers and start spiraling. You just need your round nose pliers to start the spiral. The rest of it you can just do with your hand. Just make sure you don't do the spiral so tight. Just do it as loosely as possible. So I decided to stop here. And so at the top of it, I just bent the wire. Now at this point, you're gonna cut your wire. Now to do our top loop, where we're gonna be putting our earring wire, we're just gonna do a little loop here using our round nose pliers, and then we're gonna close that off. Like I said before, the good thing about using aluminum wire, you can spiral this with your hand. It's so pliable. Make sure you're pressing down all the cut ends so that they're not sticking up whereas they can scratch your skin. And that's what it should look like. Now let's grab our anvil here and grab our ball peen hammer. Using the flat end of our hammer we're gonna start knocking it down. There's no art to it, it's just the fact that it's aluminum wire so it's going to flatten pretty easily. And that's what it should look like. Yes, I hit my finger. Now this is the result of me hitting the earring on one side of it. Next we're going to flip it over and then we're going to start hitting it on the other side to give it more of a flattened look. I swear to beef if I hit my hand one more time. And yes I said swear to beef. Another benefit to using the ball peen hammer on aluminum wire, it actually makes it stronger so that if you pull it apart, it doesn't come apart very easily. So it kind of strengthens the wire a little bit. I don't know how that works, but it just does. This aluminum wire could possibly be hollow on the inside, so that probably helps. At the top of your screen, I linked a video to how I made this earring wire. It's very easy and you probably won't go back to buying store brought earring wire. So you guys learned a new skill today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching.